considering what we know and has been established as true with our hands-on experiments by uh, fortunately the non-paid for motherfuckers on, on YouTube have shown and launched their own private uh, missiles and not missiles with the goddamn fuck I'm saying they've launched their own private rockets which I want to do I want to get my own rocket and shoot it up there with a camera on it non-GoPro of course or shoot up you know send up a balloon and uh, everyone that does that their balloons and their rockets all hit the firmament and it flies it makes it fly off course and it hits it or it bounces off or or it stops in motion and you can check out YouTube uh, rocket hits firmament dome and you know everybody should just get their own fucking rockets and just shoot that shit up there and watch it for themselves and film it and uh, put a camera on it you know what I'm saying but uh, on the cool this place this firmament is a lot like a looking glass of sorts and the reason why I say this is because from where we're at we're seeing blue and which is you know known to be waters above and inside of a crystalline surface which would be like uh, nigh the science guys experiment where you put the lid over the pot and it created mist at the top of the pot which this even sits on buoyancy but it would be water vapor at the top of a pot covered and the vapor rises to the top so that's pretty much in a sense what you're seeing but then in some cases if these uh, clouds are heavy with water buoyancy you will see them literally rest on a level of buoyancy where this atmospheric water here literally is nothing but water has a break in tension from being unhabitable and uninhabitable and then inhabitable with us down here so we can breathe in some of this water but we can't breathe in all the water we can't just perhaps we can't live way up there and if the silicon trees were there maybe there would be enough oxygen way up there because as it was said in some journals they said that the silicon trees gave off so much oxygen that people would heal back from wounds instantaneously like wolverine <laughs> so the only people that are alive that have superhuman super saiyan abilities would lie within the x which is synonymous for hyperborea which is the uh where the x is the x marks the spot so the logos that show you on the x-men intros is all hyperborea based and that's where all the super sands are that's where all the fucking you know if you're not up in the orient in the mountains close to the sun floating around on some crouching tiger shit then you're indoctrinated here with the rest of us or you're in hyperborea pretty much <laughs> Or you're in the woods doing what the crouching tiger fuckers do. You know, no disrespect. You know, fuckers is just, might as well be homie. But uh, yeah, this is a looking glass. So let's talk about these missiles that shoot up and hit the firmament dome. They all have one thing in common. They don't break when they go up there. They bounce off of it, which shows either um, a springy like silica consistency, which is found in our fingernails which is silica, bones, and everything are all silica based. So we're silica just like the silica trees. We're silica and we're alive with information that shoots between different electrical stop points, whether it be silica upon silica or the brain itself, which has uh, electrical endings, which is, makes us pretty much electrical. So this firmament here, as any electrical device can be shot up into the sky, uh, the firmament, is silica based which has an electrical electromagnetic field again coming off the dome and it is also presented by a sun who gives off electromagnetic waves it fills up the entire space with a wave signature of electromagnetism i pretty much figured a lot of this place out all right so you shoot a rocket up into the dome it's like a giant looking glass and this is the meat and potatoes of this whole conversation you shoot up one of those rockets up into the firmament and it bounces off of it or if you're flying a plane your shit blows the fuck up and you die in the plane because you're flying like 200 miles an hour well anyways as you get to the top you will notice that it gets black it gets black why because it would be relative to being like a looking glass a 20,000 mile wide looking glass created from silica chunks of silica pulled from a mass of the bottom seafloor of the void of creation absolutely astonishing 
So what we are looking at here is a looking glass of sorts and what you can presume from knowing that that would be that kind of a structure or whatever you want to call it. Then it would be presumed that whoever sits on the other side of this would be able to look down and see zits on your face because it would be a giant bifocal. Stay awake.